What's up guys, my name is Vanessa. Welcome to my first ever video on my beauty channel. Quick disclaimer, I was a little nervous and totally spaced on filming an intro for this video, so we're just going to jump right into this mermaid eye tutorial. So I already primed my eyes, um, I was using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the shade Eden and set it with some RCMA, RCMA no color powder. And I'm going to be using the Morphe 35B eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be going in with this fuchsia pink eyeshadow. And I'm going to be using the Morphe M441 um, blending brush and I'm just going to be applying this pink eyeshadow to the crease of my eye and just be using this more as my transition shade. And I'm just going to be blending that all the way into the inner corners of my eye. And right now I'm going in with this Raspberry Plum shade from the Sing palette. I'm going to be going in with the Morphe M433 brush. And I'm just going to be going in below my transition shade and just kind of help blending it all evenly together. And using this um, Morphe E27 brush, it's clean, it has no product on it. And I'm just going to be blending it all together just so that way it's even. Everything's seamless and there's no harsh lines. And going back with the M433 brush with the same plum raspberry shade, I'm going to be going into the inner corners of my eye and just packing that shadow onto there. And now going in with this deeper purple, we're going to be using the Sigma E45 brush. Um, this is a good tapered brush to apply to the outer V of your eye, just to kind of deepen the look a little bit and give it more dimension. And just helping it blend together with the transition shades that we were just working with. And again, back with the M43 brush just to help blend everything out together. And I'm going to be applying that same darker purple to the inner corners of the eye and fading it up to the middle. And this is what you should have so far. Now we're going to add a little pop of green. So we're going to be going in with the ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow and this is in the color Flower Shop. And I'm going to be using the Morphe M421 brush. Um, I did spray some MAC Fix Plus onto the brush just to kind of give it more pigmentation for the shadow and just give it more of that metallic look that we want. And I dabbed the excess water um, onto my hand after I spray the brush just so that way there's not too much water that falls into the pan and just kind of clumps all the eyeshadow together. Now going in with this shimmery teal green color in the same palette, going in with the E36 brush from Morphe, I'm just going to be applying that right over top of where the ColourPop Flower Shop uh, shadow ends and just going to be blending that in towards the crease just because it's a lighter teal green and it'll just help it make it look more faded and more blended with the pink eyeshadow. Now going back in with that same plum raspberry shade with the same M43 brush we're just going to be applying that to the outer V's of the eyes. So we're just going to lay that over top of the green and just kind of help mesh everything together. The more blended the better so just keep blending. Who said makeup was going to work out? And now with the Morphe M507 brush, we're going to be going in with a deeper purple and just applying that over top of the green again and that pink and just blending it out. While you and me repeat this bit of sweet heat. Now I definitely thought that this look could use a little bit more shimmer. So I'm going in with this Buxom eyeshadow. Um, this is a shimmering uh, em emerald shade and this is in the shade Prenup. Um, definitely gives it more of a shimmer and definitely more of a pop of color. And I'm um, going in with a, N a NYX lip brush. And I'm just going to be layering that on top of the Flower Shop ColourPop shadow. Um, again, just to give it that more seafoam green. This is what you should have so far. And now let's move on to the face. Alright, so we're going to be priming the face first, so I'm going to be going in with the Laura Geller Spackle Hydrating Primer. This has been really good for my skin, my skin has been pretty dry, and I've noticed that my foundation has been clinging to my dry patches. Also going to be doing some Benefit Pore Professional for those damn little pores. I'm going to be applying that onto my nose, the sides of my nose, and a little bit in between my eyebrows. 
And you just kind of want to pat the um, primer into the skin as much as possible. So now we're going to be doing a little bit of a concoction for some foundation. So I'm going to be doing the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. Um, I'm in the shade Breeze and also going to be adding some L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible. And I'm in the shade 202 Creamy Natural. And adding some Cover Effects Enhancer Drops, the holy grail of highlighting for the face right now. Definitely obsessed with this. So I'm just going to be dotting this all over my face. And we are done. Just kidding. <laughs> We're going to blend. A lot. And I'm going to be using the Morphe E6 for this, just to help buff everything into the skin. And I'm just going to be dotting some foundation onto the neck. Alright, so we're going to be going in with some concealer. Um, I did buy the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, thinking that the shade was going to be light enough for my skin, but turns out it's pretty much the same color. So, over top of that, we're going to be using the Urban Decay uh, Naked Skin Weightless Concealer, and I'm in the shade Fair Neutral, and the Too Faced Concealer, I was in the shade Fair. I'm going to be using the new Morphe Flawless Beauty Sponge. I am absolutely, absolutely, absolutely loving the sponge. I used to use the Real Technique sponge, the Beauty Blender, so nothing is compared to this sponge right here. I adore this. So now we're going to be going in to do some concealer under the eyes, and same process, just applying some concealer and blending it out with the sponge. And I crease very fast and very easily under my eyes, so I pretty much have to double fist my sponge and my brush in my hand to have my powder ready to set under my eyes. So, if you see me like really hurrying up during this process, that is why. So I'm just going to be using some RCMA No Color Powder to set underneath my eyes for the concealer. And I'm also using the Sephora Number no. 47 Foundation Brush to set. I absolutely love this brush to set my under eyes. It fits perfectly and gets right into those creases that I need to get into. And now we're going to be using the same RCMA No Color Powder just to help set the whole entire face. What I also love about this um, RCMA No Color Powder is that it has no flashback of that white cast on your face or under your eyes. So when you take a picture, your skin doesn't change color. It's fantastic. And it also does not cling to your dry patches, so if you have dry skin, don't be afraid of this powder. It's phenomenal. I am totally obsessed with this. Now we're going to be going in with some Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition um, Finishing Powder, and I'm in the shade Light, and I'm going to be using the Morphe G7 to do this. And I'm just going to be setting um, in the middle of, the, of my face, which is usually where I get oily, so I need that extra absorption of powder. And even with all of this uh, setting powder, finishing powder, you can still see that my skin looks so dewy and shiny from the custom enhancer drop. So next we're going to be doing a little bit of contouring. So I'm going in with the Girlactic Bronzer in the shade Cabo and the Morphe E45 Contouring Brush. I'm obsessed with this brush too. Um, it fits perfectly underneath my cheekbones just to get that really nice, even chiseled um, contouring. Um, I never have to go in to do some baking underneath my cheeks. Uh, with, by using this brush. It's, it's so precise and it blends effortlessly and it is just phenomenal for me. I am totally obsessed. Alright, so now that we're snatched and ready to slay the ocean, we're going to go in with some bronzer. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and I'm going to be using the Morphe M527 brush just to help bronze up the temples and kind of blend out my contour a little bit, just so that way it looks more sun-kissed. And again, you can still see that doing this under that foundation. So now we're going to be going in with this Lorac Contouring Palette. I'm going to be using that more cool tone uh, bronzer shade. Just to contour my nose a little bit, um, I have a round nose, so I need to snatch that nose a little bit better. 
And I'm going to be using the uh, Ulta Angle Shadow Brush. I'm not really sure what the number is on the brush, just because it has faded since I've been using it a lot. Alright, so I did do my brows off camera, but I did do the new Cabral from Benefit. Um, I don't know how I feel about it just yet. I did think it was a little too drying for me to use, uh, but I did spray some MAC Fix Plus on the brush before using it, so that kind of helped make it a little bit more creamy and a little easier to uh, work with. But I will give you an update on how I do feel about it like later on in like, the next couple of videos. Now I'm just using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara to prep my eyelashes for some falsies. And I'm also going to be doing this off camera because that's a half and a half. <laughs> and I'm going to be going in with these Eyelor Lux Gilded Lashes. I did have to trim them to fit my eyes, but they look gorgeous. I love the way they look. They're fluffy, they're silky, they're reusable. I love them. Now I'm going to be going in with some NYX HD Finishing Powder in the shade Banana. And I'm going to be going in with the E48 brush from Morphe and just going to be setting my under eyes and I also do this last after my mascara just to help clean up the underneath of the eyes and fall out of eyeshadow just to help clean it up and also going to be applying it to my chin, Cupid's bow, bridge of my nose and the inner eyebrows. Now going in with some Tarte Amazonian clay pot. I'm going to be going in with shade black. I'm going to be going in with the Morphe E37 brush and I completely, for the life of me, could not find my favorite black liner brush, so I had to improvise. So I'm just going to be using this brush to line the inner waterline. And going in with this Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Cold with the Sigma E15 brush. And just gonna be setting that waterline and just to help blend everything out and give it more of that black smoked out look for the lower lash line. Next, gonna be going in with that same flower shop eyeshadow from ColourPop, and I'm just gonna be applying that to the lower lash line just to help blend it into the black liner that we were just working with. I'm gonna be applying it into the middle of my eye and smoking it on the outer corner. And going in with that same buxom eyeshadow with the E36 brush. I'm just going to be using that on the inner corners of my eyes and just dragging that towards the middle of the eye and just helping that smoke out that bottom lash line. Also applying it to the inner corners of my eye. Um, I did like it, but I felt like it needed an added pop of color. So I went in with the ColourPop eyeshadow with Get Lucky. I am using the uh, Morphe M213. And now I'm going in with the uh, Morphe M558 fan brush, and I'm just going to be using that shade from the Lorac contouring palette under my brow bone. And now I'm going in with some blush, my all-time favorite. I'll be using the uh, MAC Warm Soul with my Sigma Dual Fiber F50 brush. Just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and just blending that in with my contour. And now with this gorgeous little thing. I'm going to be going in with Prosecco Pop, the highlighter that Jacqueline Hill has created. P.S. She needs to make it permanent. I know it can't be permanent, but it needs to be. So I'm just going to be using the M510 Morphe brush just to highlight my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, and a little bit on my forehead just to give it that extra dewy, glowy skin. Alright, and lastly we're going to be lining the lips. So I'm going to be using the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Beige, and I'm just going to lightly or naturally line my lips. Um, I don't want to do anything too bold or to overline them too much. I do want to keep the focus on the eyes and not so much the lips. Oh yeah, and then Blink-182 came on, bored to death. Obsessed with that song. I love it. I mean, who doesn't like Blink-182? Come on, really? 
Next, gonna be going in with the Bare Minerals, the new generation nude matte lipsticks. This is in the shade Cult. I am absolutely love this shade. I've been looking for this like really pale nude matte lipstick that's not too matte, it's gonna dry on my lips. Um, so this has definitely been the, the hit for me. Um, it does sheer out once you do pat your lips together, um, but once you get the lipsticks on the top of your lip and the bottom, it's totally fine. I do love the smell. It kind of has a like vanilla, like icing smell. It smells like a cake. It smells so good. I'm obsessed with the smell. Um, it's definitely your sandy, creamy um, concealer kind of color. So if you are not that kind of person that likes that kind of shade, definitely stray away from it. But I am obsessed with this color. All right, next we're going to be going in with the Bite Beauty Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Honey. Just to add a little bit more texture and a little bit more gloss to the lips. Now I'm just going in with some Urban Decay Setting Spray just to finish off the look. And this is the final product, you guys. Thanks so much for watching and spending some time with me and watching my first video on my beauty channel. Um, this is definitely a mermaid-inspired look. I had so much fun creating this look. Um, I will definitely be posting some more videos in this week. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see next or if you guys have any comments or feedback or questions about me. I would definitely love to interact with you guys and get to know my, my future followers. And yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say to you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did, and I will see you in my next one.